Order of the magnitude is power of 10. We have to use the scientific notation. So a times 10 is to b. a has to be between uh, 10 and 1, right? So a has to be greater than uh, or equal to 1 and, um, and less than or equal to 10. And the b has to be um, a whole number, be it positive or negative, okay. However, there is a rounding rule. The rounding rule tells us that a uh, 3.16 if the a is greater than or equal to 3.16 then b then b uh, b plus 1 that's the order of magnitude if a is less than 3.16 then b plus 0 okay so where does 3.16 come from so since uh, we call it power of 10 and then you half it and then square root of 10 which is 3.16. Okay, now we're going to apply this uh, this rule, and of course, whenever we talk about uh, order of magnitude of anything, we have to convert it to sign, uh, as a unit. So, as a unit for length, so these are all the length. Length is of course meter, and this we're going to do mass as a unit for mass is kilogram. So, if you uh, measure it in um, uh, milligram you have to convert it to kilogram if you measure it in millimeter you have to convert it to uh, meter one light year so one light year what do we know about uh, velocity velocity is distance over time when we talk about light there is a special notation it calls c c for the speed of light so instead of velocity you're going to call it c c is d over t you want to find the distance the one light year the length or distance in one the light moves travels in one year so distance is ct so from your reference table you already know c c is 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second and um, t is 3 times 10 raised to 7 uh, second a year okay 7 second a year so second second cancel 3 times 3 times 10 raised to 8 plus 7 uh, meter so 9 times 10 raised to 15 meter so uh, this is a is greater than 3.16 so then uh, so then uh, 15 plus 1 so now uh, order of magnitude order of magnitude is 16 and scientific notation would be 9 times 10 raised to 15 okay all right we're going to do move to number two uh, proton so proton uh, uh, consider atom if you have an electron and this is a proton this is a hydrogen atom the atom the diameter of atom itself the diameter of atom itself is 10 raised to negative 10 meters but we are not talking about the diameter of atom we are talking about the diameter of proton so diameter of proton is one uh, femtometer in Norwegian language femtometer is 15 uh, but um, uh, most of the time we call it Fermi meter uh, one Fermi meter Fermi is Enrico Fermi who won the Nobel Prize in 1938 and 1939 he joined the man atom project and 1940 he uh, invented the nuclear reactor and in 1945 he and his group um, uh, ended up creating a, a, an atom bomb and 1945 they wanted to experiment it and he invented order of magnitude to uh, kind of estimate the, uh, uh, the, the magnitude of the explosion of fast atomic bomb uh, uh, so that uh, that was tested in New Mexico uh, July 17 1945 anyway okay so uh, one uh, femtometer or Fermi meter is 10 raised to negative 15 meters. Okay, so uh, one one times 10 raised to negative 15. One is less than 3.15, so 15 negative 15 plus zero, so negative 15. Order of magnitude is negative 15. So now distance of Earth to Moon. So distance of Earth to Moon, you have the Earth, you have the Moon. And the distance between Earth to Moon is 3.84 times 10 raised to 8 meter. This guy is um, what do you call it? Uh, A. A is of course greater than 3.16. So then 8 plus 1, 9. 9. Simple. 
all right i'm not going to even write the uh, write the scientific notation i write the scientific notation here okay good now radius of earth so this is mr berry and the radius of earth is the distance from mr berry's uh, feet to the center of the earth if you dig all the way how much you have to dig 6.37 times 10 is to 6 meter all right uh, this is a a is bigger than 3.16 so then um, you have to write b plus 1 so th 6 plus 1 7 so order of magnitude of the uh, radius of the earth is 7 all right so length of a football field when we talk about a soccer field or football field is between um, football field is always less than 110 meter and greater than I don't know 90 meters so let's say 110 meter all right so 110 meter what are the our option is let's give you three options you have 100 you have 10 and you have 1000 okay so 110 is close to 100 right so 100 is squared all right so now uh, you're gonna uh, this is one way of doing it or you can write scientific notation so 1.1 times 10 raised to 2 so this is 1.1 is less than 3.16 so 2 plus 0 so 2 all right length of a meter stick length of a meter stick is uh, this is a meter stick length of a which is 100 centimeter this is wrong this is wrong because I have to write it in scientific notation one meter uh, I have to write it as a unit now I have to write it in scientific notation all right this is a is less than 3.16 so then 0 plus 0 so this is 0 good uh, now we're gonna do length of a car so when we talk about a car the length of a car is about 5 meters now 5 meter the scientific notation is 5 times 10 is to 0 of course this is 5 meter because this is 5 times 1 is 5 meter right all right okay so now 5 uh, a is greater than 3.16 so all right so 1 1 all right um, now we're going to do length of a classroom length of a classroom if you have corresponding with the classroom length of a classroom is about 8 meters so 8 times 10 is to uh, 0 meter. All right, A is bigger than 3.16. So then uh, B plus uh, 1. So B is 0 plus 1, so 1. All right, now next, uh, we're going to do uh, diameter of a chair. Diameter of a chair, if you uh, talk about a, uh, of, a, of a chair, diameter of a chair is 0 0.5 meter. So make it a scientific notation, 5 times 10 raised to negative 1 meter, okay? Uh, 5 is, of course, greater than, uh, A is greater than 3.16, so then B plus 1, so B is minus 1 plus 1, so 0, so 0. All right, so now next one is height of a Brooklyn tank. Height of a Brooklyn tank is about 200 meters. Uh, 183 meters I'll just say 200 meters so 2 times 10 raised to 2 meters all right a is uh, greater less than 3.16 so b plus 0 so 2 now we're going to do height of a statue of liberty height of a statue of liberty is half the brooklyn tack so 1 times 10 raised to 2 meter so a is again less than 3.16 uh, so then B plus 0 uh, all right 2 okay now we're gonna do length of a Mount Everest so if you have if you you have Mount Everest in Nepal and that Mount Everest is 9,000 meter 9,000 meter is close to 10,000 right or let's put it in scientific notation it doesn't really matter it's 3 meter a is greater than 3.16 then B must be uh, 1 so 4 all right, now we're going to do uh, your height. My height is 172 centimeter, which is 1.72 meter. What does that mean? 1.72 times 10 is to 0 meter. 1.72 is less than 3.16. So then I'm going to just put 0, right? So uh, 0 order of magnitude. 
um, size of a sand. The size of a sand is very small, is one micro micrometer. So one micrometer times meter, of course, we have to have converted to as a unit micrometer. So one micrometer is 10 raised to negative 6, micrometer, micrometer cancel. So 10 raised to negative 6. So negative 6 order of magnitude of the sand width of a here. So width of a human here could be 100, 100 micrometer, which is uh, micrometer, meter. Uh, one micrometer is um, is 10 raised to negative 6 meter, micrometer, micrometer cancel. So 100 times 10 raised to negative 6 meter. So times 10 raised to negative 6 meter. So 10 raised to negative 4 meter, negative 4. Now width of a finger. So width of a finger, width of my finger is 1 centimeter. 1 centimeter is 0 point, uh, 0 0.01 meter. 0 0.01 meter is 1 times 10 raised to negative 2 meter. 1 is less than 3.16. That means this negative 2. Okay, now we're going to do this one. Object mass and order of magnitude pencil is 4, four gram. One pencil is 4 gram. So 4 gram is not as a unit. So we have to convert it to gram, uh, kilogram. So gram, kilogram. So one gram is uh, negative three, right? Um, kilogram. Um, so gram gram cancel four times ten raised to negative three kilogram. All right. So four. Right, so a is bigger than three point one six. Uh, so what does that mean? So we have to write negative three uh, plus one. So negative two order of magnitude is negative 2. Alright, so phone is uh, 271 gram, about 271 gram. So uh, that means uh, times uh, kilogram and gram. So 1 gram is 10 raised to negative 3 kilogram. So you have 271 gram cancel times 10 raised to negative 3. So convert to uh, Scientific notation 2.71 times uh, make it smaller. So 10 raised to minus 1 uh, kilogram, right? Kilogram, right? So now this one A is less than 3.16. So this you don't add anything. So negative 1. Okay, now physics book. Physics book is. 2.3 kilogram, right? So 2.3 times 10 raised to 0 kilogram. So 2.3 A is less than 3.16. So then B must be zero. so this is zero. Zero order of magnitude. Okay. If you see any typo, let me know. I'll I'll make the correction.